Women's Ski Brown and Black Belt Professional Heavyweights here under 95 kilograms. This is the semi-final. Nascimento with the red belt. The silver with the black belt here, the black gi on top position. We saw some super fast submissions from the silver. Nascimento has some great top pressure. The silver with the advantage point. Two points there for Nascimento. Literally trying to drag the silver down to the ground here, so in a circular motion to try and get in that top position. See there, she's trying to bump her forward with the hips past the guard. Silver inverts through here to chase the angle. Using the uh, right leg there as a basal point and a blockade. Nassimento trying to funnel the angle here for the back. Advantage for Nascimento. Nascimento from here could start to think about opening the leg here to get that top position to circle the silver to her back. She can also look to engage those hooks in. The silver doing a good thing though, rolling through to try and re-engage the open guards. She's got a grip on the lapel here as well. Gonna Fire the leg in to try and promote the squid guard. Silver so kicking through here, hanging on to the uh, the uh, lapel. Could be chasing potentially to uh, fire up a triangle. Nascimento reverses out of danger. there from the referee and the athletes as to per the position that they, they uh, last finished on. Asimeno sitting back here trying to put the pressure on to vacate the grip on the lapel. Nice top pressure here now. Nassimato in a better position to try and negotiate this knee slice here now. She's got to try and um, disengage that top side leg, the left leg in that, in this case here. Live black belt finals today, scheduled for 1500 local Miami time. International Vision Investments, one of our many sponsors. National Vision Sports Management as well. One of our sponsors that allowed this event to happen on a worldwide global scale. Athletes dragged back to the center stage here in Asimoto with a three-point lead in the semi-finals. So far, she's done a good job of staying away from the Silver's initiation of the guard. The Silver, a number of times, uses that foot into the neck area or the face to leave her back in Asimoto to then gain the leverage that she needs to enter. She could look for a triangle here. Nascimento aware of the game though. She's reversing out of danger, trying to disengage the postural breakage from De Silva. De Silva basically wants Nascimento forwards towards her. She wants her to buy into the fact that she's gonna give her posture away due to the uh, grip on the lapel. That's why you see Nascimento reverse out of danger, stay heavy and sit back, use counterweight to prevent the silver from pulling her into the guard. Still a work from Nascimento to try and stay away from the entry, but we see the silver now looking for the leg lock potentially. Nice entanglement there with the lapel. 
round the arm of her opponent. And she's also tucked that right leg in. Nascimento fighting for the top position. She's going to chase after the leg lock. Uh, she's going to wrestle for the single leg. Nice engagement there. And the crowd respond from De Silva, giving her the two points. That was just sheer timing and aggression that allowed her to get those two points. It's a game changer here for De Silva. Last person to score, three and three on the scorecards, 20 seconds left. She disengaged, and Nascimento kind of sat back and thought, oh, we're just going to re-engage. But De Silva pulled the trigger, fired forward like a bullet, and got that takedown, and it could secure her spot in the finals here at heavyweight. I think she's done it. The crowd responds. That's a nice initiation of aggression, controlled aggression, and awareness from De Silva. We'll see her fight for a chance to get the top spot on the podium in the finals at heavyweight.